night I lie awake Thinking of my future Many nights of sleep Dreaming of my past How can I go on? How can I continue? What should I expect before this life is gone? Then I find my faith And I am resurrected When I find my faith What is lost is found Hang on to my faith I become directed So glad that my faith Keeps on coming around I'm sure I'm not gonna make it There's been days when I believed I can't afford the cost If I close my eyes I can see the beauty Open up my heart and look into the skies And then I find my faith And I am resurrected when I find my faith, what is lost is found. I hang on to my faith, I become directed. So glad that my faith, it keeps on coming around. Standing firmly on the ground I believe I'm where I need to be If you don't mind knowing What God has to show you Simple thing that keeps it going on And then I find my faith And I am resurrected when I find my faith, what is lost is found. I hang on to my faith, I become directed. So glad that my faith, it keeps on coming around, coming around, coming around. This is why we say Michael is so amazing because you just give him a topic and he writes a song. Yes, we appreciate Michael and his many, many talents. Um, writing, playing, technology, and just being an all-around good guy. Now here at Unity Spiritual Center, we have a tradition of celebrating Advent, of, um, which are the four weeks coming up before Christmas. And just as a preparation for the Christmas season, um, but I have a confession to make. I'm pushing Advent ahead this year. Because they're the, as I said, they're the four weeks leading up to Christmas, and there are always four Sundays in Advent. But this year, Christmas Eve falls on Sunday, which makes Christmas Eve the last su fourth Sunday of Advent. And the, the board and I have decided not to have a morning service on Christmas Eve and focus on our Christmas Eve service in the evening. Um, so there won't be a morning service, so that means there are three Sundays in Advent. But I'm moving it ahead. So we start now, and um, because Advent's one of my favorite times of years, and the, the traditional unity themes to Advent are faith and hope, peace, joy, and love. And we'll take a theme for each week leading up to Christmas. But we are a week early, 
and the themes we're using won't fit, I'll just warn you now, won't fit with the weeks assigned by Unity, but that's okay. The daily word readings will be a little off, but we'll get through it. <laughs> so today we consider faith and hope. These two are linked for some reason, so let's investigate why. Why put them together? What does faith have to do with hope and vice versa? It's sort of a dance between the two. They're woven together in the tapestry that is our lives. In some ways, faith is what grounds us and hope helps us take flight and ascend to higher heights. With faith, we feel connected to our lives and feel assured in what we believe. Hope takes us into the realms of, the un, of, of expectation. Unity Minister Reverend Vernal Nelson writes, is hope possible without faith? Yes. Can you have faith without hope? No. So faith relies on hope to keep us grounded and firmly planted. In that old chestnut of a movie, Christmas movie, It's a Wonderful Life, faith is described as believing in things when common sense, to, common sense tells you not to. Indeed, faith runs counter to our common sense at times, but we have faith anyways. We have faith against our common sense. Common sense doesn't really even play into faith. We have faith because it feels right. Faith keeps us grounded. It provides a place to turn when things are rough. Faith, faith keeps us from being discouraged and helps us stay positive. We fall back on faith when things don't make sense. To most of us, whether we struggle with our faith or not, and many do struggle with our faith, it's a constant in our lives. Now the opposite of faith is not doubt. Doubt is in fact a part of our faith. Doubt keeps our faith from becoming stagnant. When we doubt, we need to assess and reassess our faith. The opposite of faith is certitude. We can't know God fully and completely. If, we, if we're certain that we do, that's not faith, that's misguided assurance. Hope, on the other hand, helps us to rise above whatever life may bring. Those of us who grew up with Christmas celebrations as our tradition might equate hope with that feeling you, of what you get before, when you ask Santa for before Christmas. You hoped for that new toy or a special gift. Now, Reverend Teresa Burton, the editor of Unity's Daily Word, connects hope with those childhood expectations when she writes, maybe it's the belief that being good is a kind of superpower. It's the hope that makes the difference. It's the conviction, conviction that choosing to be good is proof of the world's goodness, even in times of disappointment and discouragement. But what happens to hope as we grow up? So often cynicism takes root as we focus our faults and flaws and find them in others, and it becomes harder and harder to believe in the power of good. As we evolve spiritually, we understand that the promise of Christmas doesn't involve merely being good or doing good. We discover the deeper meaning of Christmas when we fully realize we are in the goodness and grace of God and expression. Reverend Burton concludes, this year, let us rediscover the hope of believing in the power of being good and carry it into the new year. And it's true that hope can seem childish at times. We hope when all else seems lost and others around us abandon hope. We cling to our faith because our faith is firmly rooted and we're allowed to hope. That's why the two, faith and hope, are intertwined. We rely on our faith to give us hope, and hope faith strengthens our faith, even when our hopes don't come to fruition. It's at those times, when all hope seems lost, that we depend on our faith to carry us through. So how do we cultivate hope and strengthen faith? We do so by deepening our relationship with the divine. It is God who gives us faith and hope to carry us through. We seek the divine within us and in others and all around us. We use prayer as a dialogue of hope 
with our God, having faith that we are heard. And we don't go it alone. We stay in community with each other and loved ones who show us the face of God in their lives. Faith and hope form a symphony of sorts. Hope is the melody that plays in our hearts, while faith is the rhythm that propels us forward. Without hope, the music is cacophony that makes no sense. Without faith, it just sits there, not going anywhere. And if you don't understand the musical references, just ask Michael afterwards. As I said already, faith and hope are a dance, a joyful mixing of the important parts of our lives that keep us going. They intertwine and step in concert with each other. It sometimes runs counter to common sense and the norms of our culture, increasingly so perhaps. Many who look on communities of faith as outdated and of little use may not understand the importance of this dance. It helps those of us who choose to be in community to continue on though. It provides the strength we need at times to put one foot in front of the other. So I invite you to investigate your faith and seek out hope. They are both important not just during this time of Advent leading up to Christmas, but always through the months of the year ahead. And so it is. Amen. Thank you. Now we turn to a time of meditation. And as Michael prepares to get some music going behind it. I invite you to just relax where you are. Feel comfortable wherever you're sitting, whether it's here in the sanctuary or at your home, on a sofa or on a bed or wherever. But just feel comfortable. And if you're comfortable doing so, close your eyes and just release any cares and worries that you may be carrying. Take a deep breath. Hold it for a moment and slowly let it out. In a world so filled with brokenness and sorrow, it would be easy to lose ourselves in never-ending grief, to be choked by our outrage to be paralyzed by the enormity of suffering, to feel our hearts squeeze tight with hopelessness. Instead, this morning, let us simply breathe together as we hold our hearts open. Breathing in as our hearts fill with compassion. Breathing out as we pray for healing in our world and in our lives. Breathing in, opening ourselves to the transforming power of love. Breathing out as we pray for peace in our world and in our lives. Breathing in as we hold hope in our hearts. Breathing out as we pray for justice in our world and in our lives. May we know our strength. May we be filled with courage. May our love flow from us into this world. Breathing in, we are the prayer. Breathing out, we are the healing. Breathing in, we are the love. Breathing out, 
We are the peace. Breathing in, we are the hope. Breathing out, we are the justice. May we know our strength. May we be filled with courage. May our love flow from us into this world. And now to close, I invite you to take three deep breaths and hold them for a moment and slowly let them out. Realizing that as you breathe in, you breathe in the joy and hope of the world. And as you breathe out, you spread that joy and hope through the world. And now I invite you to just wiggle your fingers and toes a little. Maybe roll your shoulders or stretch your neck to one side or the other. And when you're ready, open your eyes and come back to wherever you are. Welcome back. And so it is. Well, our church here is on, Uni uh, is on Ocean Avenue. And so here at Unity Spiritual Center, we are an ocean of love. We have an inspiring vision, an exciting mission, and compelling values by which we strive to live. Each week, we will join together in saying one of our statements. Please join me in saying this week's statement, which is on the screen. Our mission is we are creative joy-filled spiritual community dedicated to healing, inspiring, and transforming the lives of all people through prayer, education, and love. Our values are, and we say this together, oh. and in this space, feeling so inspired by our vision, mission, and values, and feeling so enriched by what we've experienced in here today, let us take time to be a channel for enrichment through our generous tithes and love offerings. As Michael shares another song, you are invited to support this congregation with a check made out to USC or cash or by making a donation online. If you are here in the sanctuary, the ushers will come forward to take your offering. Practicing the principles of tithing ourselves as a spiritual community, we are pleased to tithe 10% of the offering collected every Sunday to various uni unity organizations and local nonprofits serving our city. Let us now take a moment to bless our tithes and love offerings as we cup them in our hands or hold them next to our hearts. Let us say our offering blessing which is on your screen. Divine love through me blesses and multiplies all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive. Thank you, God. Just a little hope is 
that's all we need. The shadow shivers in a doorway, the crowd just moves on by. Dreaming of a life that could be with the will to try. Family crosses through the desert in the dark of night. Searching for a life to live while keeping out of sight. Just a little hope is all we need. Tiny bit of starlight in the sky. You may follow or you may lead. You can walk or you Nothing grows till you plant a seed Just a little hope is all we need A doctor leans in closely and delivers the bad news A challenge lies ahead before you and you will have to choose Changes are the only constant in the life we live. Keep our spirit moving forward with all we have to give. Just a little hope is all we need. Tiny bit of starlight in the sky. You may follow what you may lead. You can walk or you can fly For nothing grows till you plant the seed Just a little hope is all we need Thank you for cutting Wow, that was really precious. We have a lot of them. Yes. They're very good. The rhythm section grows. Yes. <laughs> Yay. Good job. Very good job. Let's bless our ties and love offerings that are here um, on the screen. Oh. Spirit of the living God, bless the acts of our hands, our minds, our hearts. May everything offered here at Unity Spiritual Center be a reflection of all that is good within us. Grant us the courage to patiently listen for the stirring of your presence. Enliven our spirits with humor. Fill us with reverence for one another and gratitude for our diversity. May unity, beauty, and truth be the fruit of all we do and so it is. Amen.